Hey, good day everybody, it's Matt here from Matcav. So today we're going to look at this. This is the Dremel Multi Chuck, and we're going to look at what it replaces on the Dremel, why it replaces that, how to use it, and safety tips around it, which is very important. And my opinion about whether you should get one of these. Hmm. So let's get on with it. Okay, so let's have a look first at what you have probably got on your Dremel. And what you've got is probably this setup. And you've got a sleeve and different size collets. And the different size collets are so you can uh, change your burr sizes, the shank size, which is that. So you have to change them between each one. So essentially what you will probably be doing at the moment is you'll be going like this, like that and then doing it up with the spanner and when you want to change to a different size bit you will want to put this one in so you have to undo this take this out, put that one in, put that one on and do it up with the spanner but we can do away with all of this and replace it with this this is the Dremel Multichuck 4486 Okay, so how do you actually use the Dremel multi-chuck tool? Well, it's quite simple really. Uh, all you need to do is to screw it onto the actual Dremel flexi shaft or you can actually put it onto, directly onto the Dremel motor, um, that part there. But you want to, actually, I'll just point this out. Here's a plug. It's good practice whenever you're dealing with the let's say the spinny parts of the Dremel, you want to unplug it because if you accidentally actually, they put this very close, you accidentally turn that on and your fingers are there, I don't want to say what's going to happen. Anyway, okay, so back to this, so you're putting it on, pressing the brake, then you can put the bit in and just tighten it with your fingers. The beauty of this is that you can go from this thicker one to this thinner one in a matter of seconds. I think this is one of the best tools that I use for convenience and for speed. Okay, so there, just finger tighten. Actually, I'll just point this out as if you accidentally like have a strong part of the day and you really put it on tight and you can't actually undo it there is like a part here where you can actually use a spanner and get it undone then. okay so the size range of the diameter of the burrs that you can use is the lowest is 0 0.8 millimeters and the largest diameter you can use is 3.2 millimeters Okay, so the question is, is do you need this tool? Do you need the multi chuck tool? Well, essentially you can get away with the other system, uh, but this is really a convenience tool, and especially for somebody like myself, which you may be like as well, and that you do a lot of carving, and you can use all of these when you uh, carve maybe something like this, a boat or maybe a wood spirit where you're going in between um, like a flame burr, and uh, something a little bit smaller for details and you're changing around a lot that's when you these multi chucks really come in handy okay so this is an important kind of safe, safety aspect that i've noticed on this and maybe it's just got something to do with me but i do a lot of carving and what i have noticed is if i'm carving really hard wood and i'm using a bit like this it can chatter and so this can sometimes loosen the chuck and what you'll get is this will move, start to move around. And just as long as you're aware of it, uh, it's no big deal, but you don't want to be um, completely oblivious and because this will end up flying out, which is, has never happened to me, but just that, that's just something to be aware of. Okay, so would I recommend the Dremel Multi-Chuck? Yes, I would actually, especially if you're a carver that does a lot of carving and you're swapping out all of these uh, Dremel bits and 
you're, you, know, you know, you get tired of using the old uh, spanner and all that kind of palaver, swapping all it around. And so, yes, I recommend this. It's a time saver and time is money. Well, time isn't money, actually. Time is priceless. And time should be spent gardening and uh, spending time with your loved ones and just chatting to friends and making avocado on toast. But yes, I do recommend the Dremel Multi-Jack.